It is the 28th of the 12th, 2011, and this is today's climate change update. Well, let's go ahead and start on SOT.net Canada. Nasty weather delays flights in Ontario, Quebec. Southeastern Ontario and southwestern and central Quebec are beginning to feel the effects of a winter storm on Tuesday, with some flights delayed across the region. Volcanic activity in the Red Sea. I reported upon this uh, back on the 23rd, I believe. An eruption occurred in the Red Sea in December 2011, according to news reports. Fishermen witnessed lava fountains reaching up to 30 meters, or 90 feet tall, on the December 19th. The moderate resolution imaging spectrometer on NASA's Terra and Aqua satellites observes plumes in December 20th and 22nd. Meanwhile, the ozone monitoring instrument on NASA's Aurora satellite detected elevated levels of sulfur dioxide, further indicating an eruption. And uh, from the satellite pictures, it's definitely an eruption. New island is forming in the Red Sea. Landslide hits famous German coastal cliffs. Uh, one little girl is missing. A 10-year-old girl is missing following a landslide at famous chalk cliffs in the German island of Rügen, a popular destination for tourists. Local officials are blaming the recent increase in cliff falls on erosion caused by fluctuating weather conditions and rising sea levels. We got a magnitude earthquake, uh, USGS 6.6 .6 in southwestern Russia at a depth of 6.9 kilometers. Uh, I also saw a report off of RT uh, where they're saying a seismologist has reevaluated that to a 9.5 earthquake. I will provide the link below, of course. Uh, this is on the RT website, uh, saying that this earthquake, no damages were reported because it was such a uh, sparse, diverse area, uh, but the authorities are definitely on the lookout for aftershocks and any damages and that kind of thing. I'm thinking if it was a 9.5 that shallow, uh, 6.9 kilometers uh, deep, it would have been felt a lot harder than that. U.S. drought may have killed a half a billion trees, Texas Forest Service says. As many as a half a billion trees may have died across Texas from the effects of the 2011 drought, the state's Forest Service says. A survey released Monday by the Texas Forest Service estimates 100 million to 500 million trees or 2% to 10% of the state's 4.9 billion trees have been killed by the severe drought which began last year. And that continues to be ongoing. Uh, out of Turkey, two earthquakes strike near, uh, back where they're having earthquakes. Two earthquakes occurring three hours apart caused a short-lived panic. Uh, in western province in Turkey, the quakes which registered a 4.3 and a 4.0 in magnitude did not cause any loss of life or property damage, uh, but it still uh, scared the heck out of people in a earthquake-prone area. Uh, Indonesia, Mount Lokan volcano erupts, panics villagers. One of uh, Indonesia's most active volcanoes erupted on Tuesday, spewing clouds of ash and pick panicking villagers, but no evacuation has been ordered so far. And uh, this is the story reported out of uh, uh, RSOE last night. Over to the extinction protocol, they've got the drums of war beating, of course. Iran threatens to block oil shipments in Strait of Hormuz if oil sanctions are imposed on the country. you got to remember there are ongoing uh, naval drills uh, going on in the Strait of Hormuz as we speak where they're practicing to shut down the oil. Uh, and the earthquake, uh, another sun-grazing comet inbound towards the sun. And they have a video on that. And Korean Pe Peninsula sees notable rise in the number of earthquakes. The nation experienced more earthquakes than the yearly average this year, said a state's weather agency on Tuesday, causing concerns after Koreans witnessed a massive earthquake ravage its neighbor Japan earlier this year. According to the Korean Meteorological Administration, 51 earthquakes higher than a magnitude of 2 shook Korea this year, which is higher than the 10-year average. However, the KMA added that the magnitude of quakes were low, a 2.0 magnitude earthquake, uh, blah, 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 and the story goes on. 
And uh, of course, they're gearing us up for Syria, New Fundamentalist, Middle East. Tyrants fell in 2011, but 2012, even more ominous for Syria. And that's about all they knew. Uh, drivers places southern Egypt rattled by first major tremor in several decades. An earthquake measuring 4.2 has occur occurred in so southern Egypt according to the National Institute of Astronomical and Geophysical Research. Tremor tremors were reported on Monday evening near uh, Lake Nasir, south of Aswan. The population of the high dam city barely noticed the earthquake. However, the tremors were felt by people in the desert regions, um, several tens of kilometers south of Aswan. And uh, they're fairly shadow, saying these earthquakes were about two kilometers in depth. Or in depth. And that's about all new they have tonight. Over to the RSOE. Um, we have a, a biological hazard off the coast of Texas, basically an alien uh, prawn species or, or an Asian tiger species, basically a shrimp style bit but bigger, um, is inundating and taking over the coastal areas there. Uh, basically um, devastating uh, the shrimp and, and crab industry in the area, along with eating all the things that shrimp and crabs do. We've got a nuclear event in the state of Massachusetts. Uh, the Pilgrim Nuclear Generation Station was shut down when an emergency, an emergency uh, release valve malfunctioned. Uh, they shut the, the, the reactor down to make repairs and whatnot. It's under supervision. Uh, extreme weather in Finland in the southern region, and that's that big storm rolling through. Uh, and the Philippines still dealing with tropical storms and uh, all the effects that that have. And that's about all new I have today uh, on climate-wise. Over to the radiation stuff, uh, E&E News, of course. Uh, Associated press, press amount of radiation released from Fukushima is still unknown. Recent studies suggest Japan continues to significantly underestimate the scale of the disaster. Scientist, we are not prepared for this. Nobody is prepared. Debris could bring radioactive contamination to the United States and Canada. May impact marine life. No kidding. Uh, off of Fairwinds, hot particles bombarded west coast of the United States and Canada. Contaminated farms and some food sources in the United States. Radioactive debris island twice the size of Texas, crossing the Pacific and heading our way. Damage at uh, unit number two, Fukushima, what prom prompted TEPCO to discuss evacuating Fukushima workers, perhaps because reactor burned continuously for several days, uh, it, as NRC admits. Uh, off of Busby, criminal e uh, a criminal event that government failed to reveal to true extent of radiation contamination, criminal irresponsibility, quite a criminal affair, and the lawyers are at work, of course. Another story off of Fairwinds, Fukushima dwarfs Chernobyl, Japanese face tragedy of magnitude world has never experienced. And off the NHK, extremely high radiation in cedar flowers that release pollen. Not a great health hazard, says government, and we all trust what they said. 2,000 plus grains in a cubic meter of air during season. So we have um, the pollens going to release and all these plants are radioactive and that's just going to make the air thick with radioactivity in what is Japan. And Iodine 131 reported in Tokyo, 10 out of 12 sewage plants test positive in December. And you got to remember, they are burning this debris, they are burying this debris. Uh, they don't know where to put the sludge from the, the, the sewage plants. Yeah, it's a complete nightmare. Nuclear minister, certainly there is increased Certainly there is increased cancer risk if you are exposed to radioactive material. It can't be avoided. And top Japan official, very strong possibility there is nuclear fuel outside the containment vessel. And if you watch the explosions, uh, that is Fukushima, you know farewell that it is spread far and wide.
And that is about all new they have tonight. Of course, if I missed anything, please leave your comments or attach your videos below. Uh, try to have some fun today. Enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks.